lies here? This almost sounds decent in the first half, like maybe this was a frustrating attempt to find out what's wrong. But no, it's arbitrary repetitive bullshit. Show me a bicycle. He's halfway into a meltdown already! Stop training! Adam's blurry vision is supposed to be the result of a snack infection, as revealed later on, but all that the distracting fly hair shows is struggling to focus while autistic. So which is it? A sudden medical problem, or just another day of autism? Shot does not linger long enough to appreciate this stim toy. Adam, look at me. That would prevent him from using the picture board! If Adam can draw the worms, then he knows he has the worms, which means he can see the worms. So representing his vision as just blurry is cheating. Show it or conceal it, but don't lie. More juice? What's more juice? He has to ask for it. He just did, you oblivious walnut. Also, starving your child. He's choking. It's impossible. It's mac and cheese. Impossible? To choke on mac and cheese? Why? Because it's soft? You know you can choke on liquids, right? You can't scream and choke at the same time, so medically speaking, he's fine. Ten-year-old boy. Nice to see we're smashing the stereotype that all autistic people are eight-year-old white boys who are currently having a meltdown at this moment. Screams for his life for no reason. Well, clearly there is a reason or else he wouldn't be in a medical clinic. He's autistic. Severely autistic. You said autistic, right? And then you fucked it up. Can't talk, can't make eye contact. Screaming's probably his way of communicating. That conjecture is so baseless, the United States is about to invade it. And he went to three different doctors who all said just that. And this is why we need autistic doctors. His brain can't filter information. It's a constant assault on his senses. I'd scream too. Foreman applies medical model thinking to the part of the case that isn't medical. He clutched his chest, BP was elevated, maybe there was chest pain. He also said the heart was fine. Don't be so quick to dismiss pain. Don't dismiss pain at all, since pain itself is something doctors are supposed to alleviate. And maybe don't bury the important chronic pain support message behind a biotypical actor and rapid line delivery that we can only catch half of. Shot still does not linger long enough to appreciate this stim toy. I don't have ten minutes. Yes you do! You're part of a special diagnostic team that only sees one patient at a time. And even if you weren't, you'd still have a union break, right? Or you could have explained what's happening to him, but okay. Oh, so he's okay once people aren't touching him anymore. Pressure, yay! My back feels great. I figured I'd better get down here right away. Damn, you can really get taken seriously in any situation if you're a white cisgender man. Big shocker. Dad's depressed. Autism causes... Wait, I thought depression was a chemical imbalance. Are you medical model or not? Every minute of every day is booked. When he eats, sleeps, plays his handheld. Not much of a life for them. They chose to have a family. You don't get to decide what your kid's gonna be like. Nobody chooses this. No, no, they chose it. Hyperscheduling isn't because of autism. It means the parents want their lives to be scheduled. And it probably also has a bit to do with controlling the kid. It's funny. You're a normal kid, the parent works. You're a special kid that costs more. You quit and turn the backyard into a therapy circuit. You say that like it's a universal truth, but you were there when your boss pointed out that Dad was on Wall Street, Mom was a partner in an accounting firm. This is a rich couple who saved up enough to be able to quit their jobs, you drongo. This whole scene is a massive HIPAA violation. Parents have this smear kit. Kid is constipated. Constipation, there's another symptom. Put it on the board. Shot does not linger long enough to appreciate this stim toy. Get a lung biopsy. Well, it took a half an hour to get the mask on the kid for the lung scan. Oh, I'm sorry. Was there somewhere you needed to be? This line is presented as House being his usual asshole self, but he's right. Foreman doesn't have any other work to do. He's just complaining about how much work it is to deal with an autistic patient. Oh, look. Foreman is manipulating the easily manipulable Wilson into doing his job because he's too lazy to deal with an autistic patient. That was huge. It was like a conversation. It's almost like you neurotypicals are the ones who suck at nonverbal communication. Monkey see, monkey do. House compares autistic people to monkeys. Skinny, socially privileged white people get to draw this neat little circle. Everyone inside the circle is normal. This is a wonderful speech about othering, especially with the doctor acknowledging that skinny is an area of privilege. Unfortunately, it's a bit undercut by the context that it's delivered from a boss to his subordinate while high on laughing gas. Still, enough good stuff that it's worth a sin off. 
Shot still does not linger long enough to appreciate this stim toy. Wait, there's gonna be sand ever- Dude, you just destroyed a stim toy! They quit their jobs for him. Yes, they are everything you'd want in a parent. Autism parents are the best parents in the world, cliche. When a baby is born, it's perfect. Little fingers, little toes. Uh, house, not all babies are born with fingers and toes. Plump, perfect, pink. Not all babies are born pink. I'll pay for it myself. What is it, a thousand bucks to carpet a room? Man, if you can throw around a thousand dollars like that, just imagine how many homeless people you're not feeding. Shot doesn't linger enough for the first stim toy again. Today I'm jailbait, but in 22 weeks, anybody can do anything to me. Will I be so different in 22 weeks? 22 weeks is enough for an embryo to grow arms and legs. What's House doing making arguments from embryos? There's a whole abortion episode where he's on the pro side. It's just a line. An arbitrary line drawn by a bunch of saddled men in robes. Yeah. Who cares what judges think? I know he's being sarcastic, but yeah, fuck judges. Wait, am I defending ephebophilia? Hold on. Another shameful waste of a stim toy. I need to know if you ate this, Adam. He doesn't know what you want. He literally just said explicitly what he wants. The kid's autistic, not deaf. Hospital Chapel. To our non-US viewers, yes, this is a real thing. It's the same idea as those Starbucks inside Target deals, which means we need to add us in for capitalism. Shot does not linger long enough to appreciate this stim toy. She's locked up in my office. Your office locks from the outside? This shot does linger long enough to appreciate these stim toys. <sighs> Don't touch his eye. This is an appendectomy. He's in his street clothes. In real life, that guy would have been tackled by about six tiny perioperative nurses far before he got to the operating room. This kid has flipped his shit every time they've needed to touch him. Why is he so calm this time? Today's autism cause of the day is plantain chips. Asperger's syndrome is a mild and rare form of autism. This definition is already wrong in four different ways. House doesn't have Asperger's. The diagnosis is much simpler. He's a jerk. Not mutually exclusive. You're not autistic. You don't even have Asperger's. You wish you did. It would exempt you from the rules. Neurodivergent people are held to higher standards than neurotypicals, not lower. Let you date 17 year olds? Ah, uh, yes, the famous autism defense for sex with minors. Materialism. Removing the plantain chips from Adam's eyes also makes him not autistic anymore. You share stories, feelings, toys. You don't share offices. <laughs>